You brightened the place up. Yeah. Yeah, look very anyway, nice. Anyway, you're back. Yeah, well, I didn't even notice. You didn't even spot me. No. You didn't even spot me How long going you been in, back the, for? in the door. How long have you been back for? Been back a couple of days, Benny. In fact, I was actually back for the last week's Sunday morning show. You we arrived back on the Saturday. In fact, I arrived back on the Friday because we popped in to see you in the studio on the... Um, Friday. On the Friday afternoon to make sure yeah. you boys were still doing all your hard work. So was that was that on um, purpose? Like you know, just turn up at work to see what we were doing. No, because you told me you were back Saturday and you turn up Friday. So correct. So so what happens, what happens? is, is whenever story, you though? whenever you fly back from um, the states, flying over to the states, I always find pretty straightforward. Right. Because you kind of you're you're excited because you're obviously going on holiday. Yeah. Adrenaline. You're adrenaline. Yeah. Mm. All of that stuff. And. You kind of, when you get there, let's say you arrive at like seven in the evening American time, which yeah. is like 12 o'clock our time. Okay. okay. So by the time you get to your digs, it's like nine o'clock. By the yeah. time you get out of the airport, get into Orlando, it's like one, two o'clock in the morning then. Okay. Well, you kind of, you kind of just deal with it. Right. And you, even though you're tired, you can stay up till two o'clock in the morning, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do most days. To be fair. On the way back. You get the generally get the night flight back. So I didn't. I don't. I generally you don't sleep. sleep. No, no, I yeah. don't really sleep. I, I doze. Mm. I doze. Like I generally fall asleep just before takeoff, and then takeoff wakes me up, and then I'm awake for the, the whole flight. Right. When you then land, it's like seven in the morning UK time, which is like, well, I don't even know. I'm five hours difference. Two o'clock. Two o'clock <laughs> in the morning that time. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning in America. Well, by that point, you you're starting to flag a little bit because you haven't slept, mm. and then you get home, and then you just collapse. However, you've got to fight through it. Did you you've fight? You to, fought it though, didn't you? I fought did it, you want, so I got win? home. So I, I drove like two and a half hours, and I was like, Laura, you're gonna have to take over, because I'm just done, falling asleep, yeah. falling asleep at the wheel sort of job. And then um, you get home, and then you, and then you either collapse, or you fight it. And I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna get in the van, I'm gonna unpack my bag, get in the van, Drive straight up to the up to the office and see what the boys have been up to. Did you? And that's what I did. Thankfully, you caught my only bit of work all, all the two weeks. Oh well, well, well done me. <laughs> but you did all right, though, didn't you? Were you yeah. Sunday morning shows? Hmm. Gilly was obviously Gilly a lot. first. Yeah. Gilly first, and then you had the full the full brief on the PGA from Lee Whitaker Golf, yeah. which was good. Quite wasn't a good it? subject, wasn't it? That was just thought. What can we talk about? And um, obviously, he's in the middle of the process of of going doing the PGA, it. so it was good to get his. Opinion is obviously our opinion of doing it is 15 years yeah. previous, isn't it? So it's good to get a, a modern thing. But I couldn't, I couldn't believe how much it cost now. Yeah. In comparison to what we paid, which is relatively well, what you paid, it was still expensive. It was 1,500 quid when I did yeah. it a year. Yeah. So four and a half thousand yeah. with probably 500 pounds signing up fees. It's probably 5,000. You're done. Yeah. Um, but now, yeah, it's, I mean, it's that every single year, isn't it? Exactly the same as going to uni, but. Yeah, uh, well, it is. You've got to do it, haven't you? You've got to do it. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning show in association with... Golfing Days. Golfing Days. Um, I just want to put something out there. I am going... I'm planning on going on a, a, this overseas pro-am mm. with yep. them, OK? I don't have anyone to go with. So if there's anybody out there, three people... Rentafriend.com. Rentafriend.com. If you want to come and play with me in this pro-am, it's all going to be filmed. If you want to be part of the, the trip abroad to, um, I think it's Kinta, this one. Um, if you want to be out, be on the ticket bar. If you want to come along to this trip, then just send me a message on the ticket bar, my email address as well. Send me a message. It might be a bit last minute, unfortunately. It's the end of November, beginning of December. Yeah. But I'm looking for three friends. Lots of people ask to play golf with me. I'm it's now having the opportunity. Let's go. Let's go. Getting, let's go abroad and have some fun together. I do. So there you go. Put that out there. Perfect. Three. Three. We must be able to find three people. Must be able to find three. There I must be so. three friends out there that want to come away to Portugal and get away. <laughs> get away from this bad weather already. I mean, oh, the rain. Oh, talking has about started. bad weather. That drive back from um, oh, Bradford. Gee. Well, we'll get into where we've oh. been this week, but <laughs> that drive back was pretty terrible. Yeah. This week on the show, though. Yeah, um, nice what do we variety, have? haven't we? A bit of variety. We had the ladder match, so we, we introduced Harry yes. onto the ladder, ladder for people that don't know. Harry has been on a few vlogs, yeah. but there was a few people saying, who's Harry? Well, Harry's the, the head professional at Chess and Golf Club. We grew up with him. I used to play a lot of um, amateur golf when he was a junior, taking yeah. places. Um, he's a little bit younger than us. He's been on the Christmas special. He comes in. He, he comes into the office every day. Yeah. So we're, like, he's part of the team of what we do here at the golf club. 
So who is Harry? Well, Harry's head pro, pro Harry. Head pro Harry. Head pro Harry, yeah. And he took on Lee, didn't he, at the bottom of the ladder? Looking so. a bit twitchy at the beginning there, wasn't it? Like, I thought I thought Lee probably was going to have him for a minute. I d there was times where I thought that Lee could have a little bit more confidence. I know I'm a fine one to speak, but a little bit more confidence. And I don't know what, whether, what, just a couple of shots where if he'd have pulled him off at the time, it would have been, I mean, it was close anyway, but I think he could have caused what would have probably been a bit of a, bit of an upset. Is that a bit un... Kind? Well, 100%. Mm. Lee is a trainee at the end of the day, and then when you're topping off head pros around their, home, around their home course, yeah, yeah. it can go down very uh, lead balloony, <laughs> couldn't it? <laughs> lead balloon. <laughs> so, obviously, very good ladder yeah. match for the boys. Great to get Harry onto the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no idea how and who's coming on next, but we will see at some point. Then... I had a few people at... So, I played the Alliance, yes, um, on Thursday, yeah. and I had a few professionals who have appeared on the channel giving it the big one when am I coming on the ladder so oh, really? there's quite a lot of interest in it from Is there the really? local pros yeah and um, okay. people that have appeared on the on the channel before we want to get on this um, exclusive ladder, I'd call it, wouldn't you? Exclusive? Well, I, I, what I would, it is, <laughs> but what I would like to see is maybe a fraction, and I welcome them, to be honest with you, because I feel like the golf in the recent months has gone slightly on the downhill approach. So therefore, I don't think anyone's noticed. We, do, do you not? <laughs> yeah, they have. Um, so if, um, if there's any professionals out there who want to come and join the ladder and improve our golfing um, viewing, <laughs> Then that would be lovely. So yes, welcome to all all those that have um, that have been involved and want to come and get involved in the mm. ladder. Then, random <laughs> random gathering on the first tee Hello, by man. myself and Tanner. He's watching this. Uh, he's not. What, is he not? Uh, he's not even watched the original. He's not even watched the video. How do you know? But because so you can right, tell he's watched it. Let's, uh, well, he hasn't commented. Uh, so so <laughs> here's what happened. Right. He so, was absolutely. He was drunk. He didn't even know what's gone on. You probably haven't got a clue. He's like, I don't, don't remember that day. So I, so I'm on the putting green doing like a little intro and trying to, you know, sort. Of, I didn't, didn't yeah. even get a chance to warm up, but I, I was on the putting green trying to get ready because what happened is I was, I, I could have probably have played like 18 holes. Yeah. But you know what I'm like, so you I go in there and schmoozy the um the general manager. General manager, yeah, you like doing that. Don't so you? I went into the clubhouse for my You're a little for suck my, up, really, for aren't my, you? For my <laughs> lemonade, all right. I went into the clubhouse and got chatting with the the the, um, the guy the the guy behind the counter, yeah. and then he kind of introduced me to the general manager there, yeah. Rod, who was a lovely guy, and and we just started throwing stories around. Really, we were just in there and cool. chatting around in his office. And his, I bet you um, bored him for a couple of hours, didn't you? Well, we, I think we, <laughs> we we both had a good go at ourselves <laughs> to each other, to be honest, because I had the full story of his trips to Ireland and Scotland. And was he a proper a, proper American? Oh, he was a proper American. Well, he wasn't like someone who come over for. He wasn't an English guy. No, no, America, no, he was, a pro, he was American. American so, professional. But yeah. he's, I think his missus or his missus' family, she was kind of Irish or something. Right. Or, or they always say like, "I'm, I'm Irish." Yeah. That, that might be like four generations ago. But so they, they, he was telling me about his trips to Ireland and anyway. So the end result was I was in the clubhouse for probably about oh. two or so hours. All right, <laughs> chatting away. So you only had time for nine holes, basically. So I basically only had time for nine holes. <laughs> yeah. So I dropped everybody down at the beach, at the at, at Fenish Beach there, looking for their shark's teeth. And then went up and then met up with Tanner on the first tee. Yeah. And it was one of those situations where I I could see him kind of arrive and he was kind of loitering, middle, loitering around <laughs> the, the cart barn. And I'd already yeah. got my buggy and everything. And I pulled up to the side and I was actually just trying to get my bearings because I couldn't remember... There's, a, right. there's one nine that goes that way and there's another yeah. nine that goes that way. And I just couldn't quite remember what was going on. So anyway, he's flying around, literally flying around this car barn with his buggy. And he, and it was like this, this, he, and I could hear him before you saw him, oh, you yeah, could yeah. hear him, right? So he's chatting away to the barn guy, the, the cart guy. He wasn't afraid to make noise, was he? No, and he pulls up and I'm trying to film and he pulls up, slams on the brakes of this car as he's heading towards the first tee, and it's gone at the, yeah. like at the um, at the putting green, and he's like, "Are we playing?" And I'm like, "Do you know what? I actually I'm missed like, that oh. because like now that's the that's probably one of the only things I miss about having tea times is the fact that you could rock up at a golf club, and whoever was around, you generally would make up. But now because it's tea time, it's so set, isn't it, and regimented. Whereas before, you would literally meet some. I met some really random people really random places just by 
turning up to play golf and then being made up or yeah it's brilliant well Lake Venice there is no tea times no okay. so you don't just you, you that's that I think that's what they like yeah um, I, lo- I love the story about um, the fact that you can go and play as a kid growing up in if you're from Lake if you're from Venice you can play that golf Cheap course for $3 yeah as ridiculous. long as you walk it's $3 yeah, yeah and, and that's what we mm. used to do we used to walk it a lot you know yeah but um so yeah, it was it was great. It was great. It, it, it's one of those where you you know I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm filming. You know, he's not going to know what's kind of going on with me filming. Um, but I just said to him, I said, look, I am filming. Do you, do you mind being on camera? And he's like, no problem. What what we what yeah. we filming for? You yeah, know, it's so natural, he, absolutely no idea. <laughs> so when we finish, so we've played. And um, do you remember the alligator bit? Yeah. So, and I I I wish I'd put it on camera, but I. I didn't because I just didn't want to upset it. I just didn't know how it was going. I didn't know how it was going to play out. No. So what happened is he says to me, um, do you, Dan, do you, do you want to see the do you want to see the gator move? And I'm like, well, that'd be quite a nice shot, you know, of it coming in. And I thought, oh, he might just throw a ball at his, yeah, yeah. At his tail or something like that. Or anyway, put something in the water. That it or might put go something in the water. That it might, yeah, 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 something like Although that. Although that's probably quite risky, getting him into eating mode, I'd have thought. Yeah, well, he was, he was during the middle of the day, so he's, he wasn't really in eating mode. He was in no. a chill-out mode. So, so Tanner, he's like, he just drives off, goes, parks up, jumps out of his buggy, runs down the hill to this gator, which is a big gator. Yeah. You know, I... I it was a big gator. And he what walks sort of up si- to What sort of size? Seven feet. Yeah, so it's going to give you a nasty little bite, isn't it? It won't let go. It'd be dragging, it'd be dragging, <laughs> Tanner, it'd be dragging Tanner in with him. <laughs> right? So, so, so anyway, he, he walks, and I've got the camera on the gator's head, like, so I, I can see his body, but I don't yeah. see the end of his tail, and I've got the camera sort I presume of you zoomed in. I've zoomed in, because <laughs> okay. I want to see the big splash of this gator yeah, going yeah. in, right? And you don't want to be too close. <laughs> but I also didn't want to get Tanner on camera giving the, the gator a bit of a tap, yeah. right? Because I just thought, well, how's this going to, you know, yeah, what's yeah. going to happen here? You know, so I've got ready with the, you know, anyway. He could have so been he, eaten. He walks he down on film. and he just goes slap on the back of the tail of this gator, right? I mean, yeah. we've seen it on, on the PGA Tour where one of the yeah, lads did tap, it and yeah, yeah. Tapped, his, tapped his tail. And he did the same thing, tapped his tail and, not, and he tapped it twice because he, he gave him a bit of a t- mist kind of got him, yeah. but he didn't move. And then he gave him another one and he went. Well, he just stood there, he didn't run off after he did it? No. God, it's crazy, isn't it? Mad. Absolute madness. Absolute <laughs> madness. I mean, I, hey, I, I had one time at college when we were over in Kansas playing in the, uh, that, in the, the um, N, NC, NAIA cha- National Championship. Dan's got the flag up there. Yeah, I might, I might that. Yeah. pin you on that one. But yeah. uh, the National Championship finals, and there was a wart moccasin, which is, a, which is one of the most lethal snake, snakes, yeah. water snakes in in America, you know, it's terrible. Anyway, one of the lads in my team, his name's Tiger. <laughs> Tiger Godwin, lovely, lovely Is that lad. your real name Tiger? Real name Tiger. No, not a nickname. Oh. His name's Tiger, right? What anyway. is named after? Well, yeah, I think, I can't, <laughs> no. I don't think it is, because I don't not? think his family were massive golfers. But anyway, his right. name's Tiger. Yeah. And um, he shot off in this buggy, because he spotted, he spotted the moccasin in the middle of the fairway off the tee. Right. And he is now chasing after this, Moccasin, right? And I'm like, what? What? Like doing? we're in yeah. Kansas, like we're yeah. miles away. There's from There's millions our... of snakes in Kansas, isn't there? That, that was, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed um, my experience with Tanner. The, the reason I say I don't think he's watched this is because when we were on the 18th, he wasn't signed in on his phone into. He wasn't signed into YouTube on his phone. It was on yeah. his tablet back home or his computer back oh, home. Right. So he might remember. So him. he. I said to him, "Here you go. I'll get you onto the channel, and then when you get home, you can then just look it up and then subscribe." Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. By this point, he's, he's about eight tins down. down. And they can't drink the Americans, can they? Uh, Let's he be he wasn't bad. He no. wasn't bad. Oh, was he, he a good one? Was he? He, he could handle Most of them can't drink, can they? But um, but yeah. So I don't know if he's subscribed, but if he is subscribed, I, I will try and get hold of him. I, d- I didn't even get his number. No, it's didn't a shame, get his number because I had to shoot off, and he was yeah, shooting yeah. off down to the thing. So, but um, he plays quite a bit of Lake Venice, so I'll probably go and um, yeah, you can probably moving on then, okay? Because that probably took up quite a lot of time. <laughs> of conversation. Good story, though. Good story, yeah. yeah. Um, moving on. So, as you said, this week we've had a great week, haven't we? Fantastic. So, so yeah, so we went on um, Tuesday, Tuesday, up and met up with Titus and Foot Joy. So the, the Frilford. 
Yep, so the guys that we sort of went and did the Open with, um, James Savage, Paul O'Hagan and Chris Beaumont, and we, you played a little bit of golf with them. Yeah. And I tagged along and caddied for Caddy. you, which was great. Yeah. Um, which was just talked about future plans at the Open Championship when we sort of did some work with in association with FootJoy. Yeah. And future plans, which is exciting, isn't it? Well, it is. And, and when we went and did the Open Championship, we... Uh, it was more of a trial, really, to see how we would kind of get on, how we yep. get on with FootJoy. You know, this is a massive brand. And to create content for them on their behalf and then for them to put it out onto their social yeah. media, um, absolutely it was brilliant, fantastic. Wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience. And it was good that we sort of got involved with the American side of FootJoy as well. So yeah. all the videos you would have seen, or the majority of them, probably, what, 90% of the videos, we filmed, yeah. Dan edited, yeah. on that particular well, open. Johnny, in the yeah. o- uh, the yeah, open, Johnny, we yeah. sent the stuff back, Johnny did it. And all their videos they put out was basically us. So yeah, yeah. I mean it was quite so what, amazing, wasn't it? A couple it was, of idiots yeah, like it, us. And it really <laughs> was. And um, but what, so what we've got planned then is for next year is that we'll do the Open again. So we're yeah. going to be at Royal Liverpool for the Open there, and we're going to be doing the the whole camping experience of video, a create a video around that, get some interviews with players. But the exciting thing from me, even though the Open is exciting. The exciting thing from our point of view as well is that they want us to go and do an event in the States as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like, yeah, that when you set your goals of what you want to try and achieve with yeah. your business and things like that, I mean, for, to do that, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well, absolutely fantastic. Uh, morning, Jordan. You're coming in on a Sunday, what are you? What are you doing on a Sunday? That's what I do. I'm- Dedicated, dedicated, to the, dedicated to the amazing, chat, to the channel and the business. Yeah, well, well done, you. Welcome, hey. welcome, everybody. You might win Employee of the Month this month. So great, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I don't know which event it's going to be. No. I think it, they were talking about maybe the St Jude, which would be cool. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But then... What a treat. What a treat. Drove straight up there to Bradford. Or near Bradford, was it? North, slightly Bradford? north of Bradford. So a fair way up, um, up the country. Bingley St Ives Golf Club. Yeah, and we met up with... The one and only. One of the most famous caddies on tour, I'd say. I would say he is... Number one. Num- well, he's in there, and he? he's in the top five. Top three? Name some caddies, come on. Name... Well, obviously, Steve we- Williams. Steve Williams. Fluff. 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 Cow- um, yeah. Fanny. Fanny Summerson. Um, JP. JP, yeah, I'd say that's about it, really. A famous one, didn't you? Uh, no, you've got Bones. Oh, Bones, yeah, yeah. Okay, Phil Mickelson. Yeah. Um, keep, keep. Who, who else we me? got? Who else we got? Can't think of any. Well, you got like Dustin Johnson's brother. I mean, he's quite yeah, famous, isn't he? I, I, I don't know his name, but I mean, he, I know he's cat, and I know um, Roy McIlroy used to have. He had um, JP. His, yeah, his mate had him, didn't he? So. Yeah, but I don't JP. know his name. No, I don't know his name. I know, his name, his name, I know he's a golfer. Good player. Yeah. But anyway, Billy Foster. Billy Foster at his home club. Bingley St Ives. And he's got his own bar, isn't he? Do you reckon what? we'll have our own bar one day? Um, no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Dan's only, bar. Only in your own house. But no, Billy, <laughs> Billy's 19th hole, Billy's bar, and he's having an extension to it. I know. He's got that much memorabilia and, and, and stuff that... It was like a museum, signed. wasn't it? Brilliant. Unbelievable. I could have spent all day just wandering around there, looking at different different pictures and different bags. In and 2005, we won't even, I, I can't tell you about the stories because they've been filmed and they're for Foremost, so we've gone up yeah. and done the filming for Foremost. Yeah. It's not for the channel, even though we do have a little snippet which we're going to show you in a minute. But um, he's carried for Tiger Woods. Yeah. He's carried for Seve a long time. Sergio Garcia, Lee yeah. Westwood, Darren oh, Clark, Clark, now with Matt Fitzpatrick. I mean, the, 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 the list, the, Tony Johnson, he's, there's a funny little story about Tony Johnson, which, um, but yeah, I yeah. mean, it's, it, it, he's, done, he's done it all, hasn't he? Yeah. He's done it all. And, and what's amazing, I mean, with all the Ryder Cups he's played in and been involved in and won, um, you know, world Championships, Presidents Cup, obviously for yeah. Tiger Woods. It's he was it, it, that one that or oh, Thomas Bjorn. He was in, he was caddying for Thomas Bjorn when he left it in the bunker, bunker yeah. and, and at the Open Championship. And you know, the fact that to to think of all the people that he's caddied for and Sergio Garcia, all those people that he's caddied for, and he's only actually managed he's won one major mm. with Matt Fitzpatrick, which yeah, was the U.S. You, Open you, this year. You, 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 it's Amazing, it's, yeah, it? I mean, as I said, a few near misses, and you think the yeah. quality of bag that he's had, and that he's carried, like the people he's carried for, and it just 
just unlucky, really, isn't he? I mean, but and he's now caddied for me because we went he out did, on the yeah. course and he 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 carried. He's quite he, impressed with some of your shots. You, you, the first, I mean, can't reveal all of them, but you hit mm. like three or four world class shots, and then you popped in a down shot towards the end, didn't you? Yeah. And then first it, tee nerves. And then I just think that he thought to himself, that is why Dan's never made it. That right, is exactly why Dan is where he is. <laughs> But an absolute legend, legend gentleman, had all the time in the world for oh, us. Yeah. We sat down and had some lunch with him. He was we're very lucky, it, aren't we? I was thinking unbelievable. when we when we were driving seven and a half hours back at forty mile an hour down the motorway in the wind yeah. and that rain and weather, yeah. the hurricane. Yeah. I was just thinking of the people we've been lucky enough to meet, play golf with, hang out with. It's just like a couple of idiots from talking about idiots. The back end of nowhere. Talking about idiots, <laughs> we had a couple of questions for him, didn't we? Yeah. So let's now head over to uh, Bingley St Ives and share with you our couple of questions for Billy. So, so yesterday I had um, my sort of caddying career started when I was, you know, caddying for Dan. I turned up playing a tournament with a few people. There was there wasn't enough spaces, so Dan was like, "You can caddy for me." So, I was on his bag, loaded up, ready to go, and. Um, Felt it did quite well, to be honest. The first hole, he had 155 yards uphill into the wind. He pulled 9-9 out. I was like, no, he had a 7. Give him a 7 in the middle of the green. So that was you know, the highlight of the day, really, for really me, personally. Good effort. So, yeah, so I feel like I'm almost ready to you know, maybe make the next step up, get on tour. Caddied for Dan, and I feel like my caddying skills are way better than his playing skills. Has there been any occasion where you've taken a bag off someone you know, you've decided to caddy for them. You've gone out on the golf course for what am I doing? I'm better. I'm a better caddy than they are player. And how do you get out of it? Because I'm in this situation now where he thinks I'm going to be his caddy, and we're not going to win any money. I, I can't. I've, listen, I've been very lucky, and all the players I've caddied for. You know what makes a good caddy, don't you? A yeah. good player. Yeah. A good player. Because guess what? You caddy for somebody that's rubbish. You just said it. Yeah. You're not going to make much percentage money. But I've been very, very fortunate all my career to always gone. You know. The guy's pretty good, so I've, I don't have that situation. But I understand yeah. that at the end of the day, you need percentage money <laughs> you know, to make a living. So my mum and dad always told me not to hang around with Dan, and I think they're probably correct <laughs> with that because he's got to. I should have hang around with his brother. His brother was a better player, so I'd have made more money. But yeah, so I just bin him off, do I? What do I'll I do? tell you what. I, I, I defriend him on Facebook. Yeah, I defriend him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I work for a guy called Tony Johnson, who you'll know yep. in Zimbabwe. Good yep. player. And it was the 1983 Portuguese Open. I'd gone down there, Caddy pays his own way. Yeah. So he couldn't afford to get an airplane in them no. days. So it were like, no credit yeah. cards, no yardage books. You know, it was <laughs> no range balls. It, it was tough, like, you know, so you had to hitchhike it. Overnight yeah. trains, buses, take you two days to get to Portugal. Got there, he finished seventh in the golf tournament. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, Top actually, 10 yeah. finished seventh. Yeah. He won a thousand euros. I got 5%, 50 euros, <laughs> so that was it. I think I got 80, 80 quid wage and 50 euros, so 130, 130 quid, sir. And you're paying all your own expenses, your hotels, your food, your travel. And that was a good week. Mm. So Dan might be paying you all that, actually, in today's he, well. he bought my lunch, to be well, fair. No, actually, he didn't know Footjoy paid for it. So. Yeah. But he didn't lose yeah. money, though, did you? No. No, I no. finished top, top seven, top you see, with Tony Johnson, lost money. <laughs> So, you're on a good thing, mate. <laughs> okay, question from me then, Sunday morning show. What is the funniest thing that you have ever seen on a golf course? <laughs> There's been lots of funny things on a golf course, but uh, one that springs to mind straight away, we're at the Masters on the iconic 12th hole. The 12th hole at Augusta over Rays Creek, the par 3, Hogan's Bridge, beautiful setting. We're playing with Mark Kalkavecchia. I'm cutting for Sergio Garcia and we're playing with Bubba Watson. Mark Kalkovecki is on the tee, he's lying third in the Masters. It's Friday afternoon and Cal gets up there, it's a, gets a gust of wind, drops water. He's lying, he's lying third in the tournament, so now he's got to go up, drop zone. It's it, pitches front of the green, spins off the front, trickles back down, water. Drops it again, duffs it in the front bunker. Chops it out to 20 feet. Now he rolls it up two foot past. Now he's going to make an eight. And he's going to go from third to maybe missing the cut. So he's absolutely raging. He's bright red. You can see the veins coming out of his face. Steam's coming out of his ears. And all you can see, he can't finish now because he's stood on 
Sergio's line and he can't get over because he's on Bubba Watson's line, he's going absolutely mad. And all you can hear, he's trying to find this coin in his pocket and all you can hear is tea pegs rattling around, rattling around. And he's getting crosser and crosser and crosser, he can't find this coin and then he just goes Rah! and he rips his pocket and his trousers rip from his waist to his knees and so now he's got like an 18 inch hole down his trousers. All the tea pegs in the coin now fall next to the hole and he's having to pick all these tea pegs up round the hole. And he's just got this two inch, <laughs> foot and a half rip in his trousers. I'm on the back of the green on my back, screaming, biting my knuckles, tears coming down my face, looking up at Bubba Watson, who's also crying, looking down at me, laughing. Absolutely golden. He had to play the last six holes with a massive tear down the side of his trousers. But that was Calc, lunatic. And then he kindly ruined your hat. <laughs> well, he, he said to me, do you want me to ruin your hat? So I said, yeah, go on, fill your boots. So he says to Dan, thanks for your help, Billy Foster. <laughs> no one's ever thanked you for your help, have they? Never, ever. And then he signed, um, he signed us a couple of golf balls, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, brilliant. So um, absolute gem of, a, gem of a gentleman and um, what a delight. Well, whilst we're on merch and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff, which our merch is coming at some point, I just want to share with so you Christmas. as well. Christmas. Christmas oh. is coming. Yeah. I just want to share with you as well. Oh, it's finally arrived, brought back in the suitcase from America. And survived. And survived. That's brilliant, isn't it? So, um, let me just explain what we've got here. So it's in like 2000... Christmas come early for you, oh, isn't it? Wow, hey. I was properly excited with this. So, we have got... I've, I, I've got this Open Championship flag, which is uh, Louis Oosthuizen, who is my, one of my favourite... Well, probably my favourite golfer of all time, really. Um, it used to be... It was Greg Norman in the early days. Yeah. Okay. I love, like a lot of people love watching Ernie, you know, and would, yeah. trip. but Louis really took over that and, and has continued. But in 2010, Louis Oosthuizen won the I can't Open believe that's 12 years ago. Amazing. That's scary, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he was in the playoff. He lost in a playoff at St. Andrews as well. Yeah. With Leishman and uh, Zach Johnson won it. Was that after then? After that, yeah. Oh, that's my way. That's, that's probably what, that's 15, maybe 15. why it doesn't feel like 12 yeah. years ago, yeah. So, um, anyway. He dominated so, that year, didn't he? Yeah, I was yeah. actually given this, right? This, this flag and this picture, which was in yeah. a different frame, which the picture is actually signed by him, but obviously yeah. it wasn't. But Duncan Arnold, um, Duncan Arnold had this. And he gave it to me. Duncan Arnold is a, is a PJ Pro friend of ours, and um, he actually watches the channel quite a bit. Yeah. Dunk. Um, so I I got this flag sent over to a friend of mine who knows Louis quite well, and Louis has put here to Hendo. Thanks for your support, Louis Louis Ustazen. Brilliant. You sure your mate hasn't done that? <laughs> Just signed it. That ain't, no, that ain't no, no, funny, no, wouldn't no, it? No, no. I would have just signed it myself. Definitely, that's, yeah. that is definitely it's sort of like you see the writing's himself. the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same, isn't it? And I had a couple of golf balls signed for um, by him as well. So that yeah. was. All. Nice. Do you know the ones I got signed? They're the Open Championship golf balls. Are they? Oh, yeah. even better. Yeah, clever. Right? So there you go. Brilliant. Finally, it's finally arrived. Haven't played golf with him yet, but no. you never know. I will fly over for that if that does happen. <laughs> you will, I know you will. will. Yeah, absolutely, I will. <laughs> Fanboy, aren't you? Last thing from yep. this week that we've that's been kind of going on, uh, the start of what I call the coaching live yeah. shows. So it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's something that I've been really wanting to get into for some time. Haven't had the setup that I wanted. We've been testing the setup out with our Patreon. Yep. Uh, page so um, we've got the live show kind of set up now and we did our first live show on Friday and the idea is that we're going to do some coaching lives um, on Friday afternoons I'm going to bring in coaches people can yep. can tune in and ask some questions once we've got what we need to get out on on that video yeah. um, interact interact cool. and, yeah. I, and, and I really hope there's some real good um, legs with it I really hope we can make that work and get it get it moving in the right direction Harry obviously being the first one on, head pro Harry. Um, so yeah, hope you've, if you did tune into that, um, if you haven't seen it, make sure you head over to our live area. And They're gonna be stand-up videos on the channel as well, so you can now watch them if you yeah, haven't yeah, seen Yeah, 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 once we've yeah. filmed it, you yeah, can yeah. then come back to it and watch it later yeah, if you brilliant. want to do that. So that's, that's about, about half an hour, 45 minutes long, at the max is what we want to try and get from those. So they yep. should be quite interactive and hopefully give some good info to the, for, for everybody watching the yeah. channel and ultimately help grow the channel. Yeah, that's what that's what this is kind of all about. It's searchable content that hopefully will help us grow the channel. Then next week, 
Lan Hydrock. Lan Hydrock, we're, fi Lan Hydrock. <laughs> we're finally yeah. getting it put together to come out um, down in Cornwall. Yeah. But we introduced a new individual to the channel. We did, yeah. It's quite um, not funny, but so basically, I thought the video was coming out Thursday, just gone. So sort of said he he's been badgering me the whole time. When's when the video come? When people just think that the video's filmed and then it comes out like the next day. So it takes a bit of time. We've got a plan where we put it, etc. So I thought it was out Thursday, which I think originally it was. So I told him that he's got all his family round, like got the big screen up. They're having a little takeaway, like, oh, Josh, I'm really looking forward to this seeing you on here. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, he watches the channel a lot, his family do. They sat there at six o'clock, kept refreshing the uh, page. Where is it? No video. Where is <laughs> so, it? So, yeah, apologies to Josh, Breeze and the family for not putting the video out, but it wasn't my fault. Never your fault, Billy. <laughs> Never your fault. <laughs> anyway, it's going to go live. So Josh is new to the channel. He works down in the pro shop for Harry. He's doing his training. Um, we've got a video with us on the golf course with him, obviously. And then yep. I think you did a What's, in the, what's in the Bag yeah. with him. And then, uh, again, we're going to get our live shows done for next week as well. So Perfect. Uh, there we go. That's it. We've just waffled enough tonight, today, haven't we? Is that, are you done? That's a lot of waffling. That's a lot of waffling. We've sent people to sleep, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, it's the first one we've had back for a little while, so it's going to be a big one, isn't it? Um, obviously, a big thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next Sunday. See you next Have a Sunday. great weekend.